Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. This is supposed to be my seventh day of my build, but I'm at a standstall because uh, I'm waiting for new parts to come in from Botmel. For my backers, as you can see, this is what I have done. I have the frame. I have the x-axis. It's kind of blended in there. That's pretty much what you're going to get at the 250 level if you if you pledge at that level, minus the motor. The motor will not be included. But yeah, you're going to get the, the threaded rod, the nuts and bolts, and the smooth rod to get get yourself started. I have a video here that I want to make showing you what, what else you're going to need. I'll, I'll throw in the belts. I think I can get the belts for pretty cheap too. I got my tool set here, my parts. All the nuts and bolts you see here will be included. Those are extra RP parts that were left over. You might want to go ahead and go out and purchase yourself some set of springs. I find some pretty cheap, I'll throw them in. But just regular springs to go over it so you can use that on your bed. What you will need, what I suggest you need, is right here are these little shims. They're for furniture. You can use those to zero out your your mendel and get it all level before you start putting things back on it. Tools you will need. Allen keys. You're gonna need a two millimeter, a three millimeter, and a 1.5 at the very least for the full cells mendel, even less for the Pru Prussia, Prussia mendel. You're gonna need some small screwdrivers. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter deep well and regular socket, a seven millimeter deep well and regular, and then oddly enough, you're gonna need a 730 seconds deep well and regular. That's for the Nylock M fours yeah for the nylock m4s you're gonna need that or m3s it's odd it just doesn't fit right so you have to go to imperial same thing with you can wear their 13 millimeters box wrench this is for the allen keys it's to tighten it up so you can use it like a wrench needle nose pliers wrenches of course i suggest you use the smallest socket wrench you can just to keep yourself from over torquing any part of the actual parts because I have noticed that when I torque it just a little bit your parts do crack. Loctite. Loctite can be substituted from what I hear with super glue but if you want to make sure your your mendel is good to go let's just go ahead and shout the money for the Loctite. It's like 10 12 bucks. Get the temporary one until you're sure you can build it perfect. A uh, little set of vice grips and a, po a pocket knife always handy. You need a spirit level. If you have a one of those digital levels, go for it. Magnetic is good too, so you can hang it off the end. Uh, a ruler. This isn't a zero end ruler, but it does have metric on it, so that's why I picked it up at Target, like 98 cents. Duct tape. You're gonna need duct tape so that you can wrap your motors up when you file them down to keep shavings from going inside your <clears throat> inside your motor. A hacksaw. Uh, I might chop down the parts for you. If I don't, you're going to need a hacksaw. It's not that tough. You just put it on there, measure it out, you're good to go, and cut it off. I have my Dremel, so I might go ahead and just get that done for you guys. Uh, what's not included in, in the 250 kit are the thick and thin sheets. The spider and the actual print bed. Heated bed's not even an option because those things cost quite a pretty penny. With the Prusa model, or Prussia model, Prusa, Prussia, anyway. You're not going to need all that crazy laser cut thing. All you're going to need is two pieces of plywood or one piece of metal and a piece of plywood. You can get them cut at Home Depot or Lowe's. And uh, I've seen people use acrylic or glass for the, for the big sheet. And you can always clip another piece of metal on it like how that's supposed to be printed on or mounted on. You will need some electronics. I know you saw the other Kickstarter project that just got funded recently. They have, I believe they're using three motherboards. This one's only one, it's Gen 6. The only place you can get it, from what I understand, is Mendel-Parts.com. Mendelparts.com. The only reason I know that is because it is etched onto the circuit board, so I don't think you're gonna find it anywhere cheaper other than Mendelparts.com. <clears throat> see what else, let's see. Uh, it comes with the cables, get the full cable kits with optos. This is your braiding kit, 
to mount all your electronics. I do see some tire tube in there for, for bicycle tires. Probably just picked that up for a few bucks. Uh, you might want to get a drill so because your uh, drill bits here, I've selected the drill bits that fit the uh, the threaded rod, the smooth rod, and the nuts and bolts best so that you can go ahead and drill out any parts in case it does get a little stuck. I do see some, I believe that's nanochrome wire you can use for your thermistor, krypton tape, basically heat barrier tape. You got your jigs. You're going to need at least these three jigs. 290 millimeter, 234 millimeter, and 157 millimeter. And then some sandpaper to shave them down once they're good, once they're getting close. Motors are not included with the 250 level, but they're about, I want to say 60 bucks for four. And then uh, if you want to go for full Prusa, you're going to have to shell another 20 for that one. So you need five motors. So the interesting thing you need to know, if you're gonna go with five Gen or Gen 6 electronics, oh, let me zoom out. So you can tell my wiring skills are not that great right now, but the order is blue, red, green, and black. Blue, red, green, black on the flat side, on the flat side. Not on that side, on the flat side. Blue, green, blue, red, green, black. And it's fairly simple. You're gonna need the needle nose pliers to crimp those uh, leads down. <clears throat> and then slide them on in, it's not a big deal. Your motors, jigs, oh, Dremel. If your parts have any imperfection, a Dremel will go ahead and knock that out real quick. Uh, go ahead and get the full accessory kit. If you can go higher than that little kit I got there, go for it. You're going to need it. Let's see. These are optional. These are the M1 through M4. You're supposed to be able to measure those, but I just wanted to have something physical to go ahead and line it up with. But you can have them. I do notice the M1, I mean, once you frame the access in accordance with the website, the M1 kind of falls away because it's straight down, it's level. And then you might have to bring in the M1s a little bit. That's the top ones for the cells, Mendel, that line up the rods perfectly. Padded feet. You might need some padded feet. I'm using the shims, like I mentioned earlier. But once I get everything uh, set up, I'll go ahead and put some padded feet on there. With the Perusa model, they do already have feet that are, that are um, a little bit higher than the Mendel feet. And you can go ahead and just shave those down if you need to. I got some door stops. In case your table isn't perfectly level, you can go ahead and use some door stops and get your table level so that you can get your Mendel level. Uh, some other suggested hardware is some magnetic. I have a magnetic wrist guard right there and a magnetic plate or pad that I can work on top of. It keeps me from uh, losing any nuts or bolts. So that is everything that I've used so far. Oh, forgot to mention this real quick. USB. You got the USB cable standard printer type power supply. If you order it from Mendel Parts, I do see that it is European. See, European supply. All you need is another cord that matches that. I used one from my PS3 and it worked just fine. You will have to cut and strip the end. Just cut it off using the using a pair of dikes or needle nose pliers or wire strippers if you got them pull away the the wires that are not surrounded in protective coat protective coating the, the white one you can barely see right there let's focus there we go the white one's positive and the rest that's just surrounded in black casing that's negative so to strip it pull it to one side twist it and crimp it down using the uh, small screwdriver that's the only time you'll need that small screwdriver. Hacksaw, got everything I, I think I got everything here. So with uh, Bot Mill sending me new parts, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just buy new nuts and bolts and leave everything on that thing together. And I might even buy some new threaded rod and some smooth rod and just start over fresh 
with the new parts they send me. So I could possibly end up with two if I can get that Mendel working. I would still need to order another set of motors and electronics and thick and thin sheets and everything else, but we'll see what happens. It's a learning process. So this is everything I'm using right now. I can box all this up and I'll have a full Mendel building kit. That's all I got for today. Hopefully I'll, uh, my parts are on order. I've seen them on uh, the tracking code. It's in route. So it's just a waiting game right now. All right. Have a nice weekend, guys.